Hello again, ladies and gentlemen. BTM here, bringing you another match in my Age of Empires series. This one is on Decan, one on one against Japanese. I am playing Sue again, as usual. A few things I want to touch on here before the match begins, as I do all the normal pre-game activities that have been thoroughly covered before. Um, I didn't mean for the map to be Decan, actually. Uh, I went to matchmaking, you know, clicked one on one, random map, allow war chief civilizations, all that good, good stuff, and it put us on Decan. And I was not happy when it put us on Decan. And I almost decided right there to resign and not record this game and move on. But I ended up playing and recording it. So I'm bringing it to you for a reason though. So that's <laughs> why we're on Decan again. Trust me, I get sick of this map too so much. It's it's really actually kind of frustrating to play on Decan. The other thing, uh, the other reason why this match in particular, I didn't, um, Another thing about this match in terms of bringing it to you is I feel like we have such a great community starting to develop here. I mean, you guys are so positive and give me such good feedback and like my videos. And I, I told you guys a long, long time ago, I said, you know, I'm going to upload everything I record, win or lose or something in between. And that's what I said. I said that, you know, day one, uh -huh. like, you know what, I'm not going to be one of those guys that plays oh one God. civilization on one kind of map and only uploads it when he looks good. And so that's, I, I, I've held true to that. And if you don't believe me, watch this video because I, this is the worst, and I mean it, the Watch absolute that. worst ass kicking I have ever got in a single Age of Empires 3 match. And... I don't know why I lost so badly. Well, actually, I do. But I'll get into that in a minute. But I, I've never been thoroughly beaten, I think, in my entire Age of Empires career. I'm talking out of Treaty, Deathmatch, Rush, anything. I think this is the one game where I felt the most thoroughly and completely defeated out of every game I've ever played in this game. And I happened to catch it on camera. And that left me with this dilemma of, like, well, do I show it to them or do I not? But I love you guys, and I feel like if I show you guys my best and you're so supportive of me, then I should also show you guys when I don't do so good. So here's this game. Take it for whatever it is, I guess. Um, I play pretty well, actually, and that's the thing, ironically. I lose awfully, and I just cracked my knuckles. Sorry if you could hear that. I lose awfully, but I felt like I played pretty well. Um, I got my boom going off fairly well. I uh, had the 300 wood early on to be able to um, age up and build corrals. However, in hindsight, I should have built a trade post and a market. And then oh, aged up with 400 wood oh, option money. and gone probably along oh, that route, but I didn't. I, since I had 300 wood, I decided to use the fast age up and uh, only have to gather another 100 to get corrals. So I also had the gold necessary to make my first batch of bow riders. So, but all around, I could have done that better, but in terms of hunt management, resource management, hadn't been too bad up to this point. Um, was going fairly smoothly. And I lost this game, looking back in hindsight. Partially, I think there was a little bit of a civilization mismatch. I mean, Japan versus Sioux is not an easy matchup for the, the, for the Sioux. And the reason why is Japan, first off, has the best, and I mean it, the best early game units. I'd, I'd argue that to Kingdom Come. They have Samurai, they have their special Musketeers, Akishuri Musketeers, and they have Yumi Archers. Um... My cavalry doesn't really match up well against any of those units besides Axe Riders and Yumi Archers. So from right there, I'm in trouble in terms of a matchup. Second of all, the Sioux depend on a lot of villager raiding. And the problem is, because the Japanese don't gather food, most of their villagers usually can stay fairly close in the early game to town. Which means I can't raid around with bow riders. So that caused a little bit of a match, ma mismatch. Now at this point, I'm, I'm looking through his town, looking about being doing bow riders, um, and I notice he's got two TPs, and I'm like, "You are not gonna do to me what I do to everybody else I play against." That was kind of like my mentality, like, "Hell, no." So I'm, I'm gonna want to try to grab those <laughs> trade posts as fast as possible, but. Again, there's not much to raid, and I know that at this point in the game, because 
he's gonna have shrines out and about, but bow riders aren't a siege unit. They're not made to destroy shrines. So really, at this point, I shouldn't have even been making bow riders. I should have probably been doing, uh, made two war huts and done some kind of uh, archer spam. That probably would have been a much smarter choice. So that was very foolish on my part to uh, even keep going for bow riders after I knew that the situation in the game had changed. But I, 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 I didn't have enough clarity of mind at the time to think, well, I should switch my strategy. So I kept making bow riders and gold. And, um, I, again, I, looking back on this, I just feel like it was so obvious I shouldn't have gone bow riders. And I, uh, whatever. Anyway, at this point, Red has up to three trade posts. And I run through his town, but it's all pretty close to his town center. There's nothing I can really just kind of hit and run with. So I'm not doing... I, I haven't even raided at this point. Five minutes into the game, I have a, I should have a huge bow rider advantage, and I haven't done any raiding. So right there, that's some bad playing on my part, even though economically I haven't necessarily done poorly. But at this point, I realize, oh frack, he's got four, uh, four, um, he's got four trade posts. So I think I send these guys to go destroy him, if I remember correctly. Right. So I debate there on what to send, and I end up sending the axe riders because I want to start putting some pressure on um, the trade posts. He has four. That means the, the reason why trade posts are so vital to him, even if he doesn't upgrade them, right? The reason why trade posts are such a crazy huge advantage for him is because he's going to get the experience, and he can send most of his military shipments, which far are which are superior to mine, twice. So. If he gets even one more shipment, that means he could send ten uh, musketeers instead of five, because he can send that shipment twice, or ten archers. And so that will make attacking him and putting pressure on him militarily very, very difficult. And I actually, in my, I didn't think of that at the time. I just thought, well, you know, he's, he's being an idiot. Um, you know, because he's not going to have time to upgrade them all, too. But that wasn't his goal. His goal was to get his shipments initially, not necessarily get resources. And as you see there, he manages easily to hide all his villagers in the town center since they're right next to it, and manages to kill one of my bow riders pretty much straight up. So at this point, I, I knew it was going to be a long game. I'm like, well, this sucks. I My only chance of winning that I foresaw was to... Um, the only chance of winning I saw at this point was to get all the trade posts and overwhelm the machine numbers. But he has nobody near there. I realize I won't be able to raid anything. His mine is right next to his town center. His villagers are probably on the trees right by there. Like, there wasn't much I can do at this point. At least that's what I felt like. Um, I had the wrong strategy locked in pretty much. So, and I make another mistake. I keep trying the same thing. Technically, at least according to Albert Einstein, the definition of stupidity is doing the same thing over and over and over again and expecting for insanity maybe? I'm not going to remember. She's either insanity or stupidity. We're doing the same thing over and over again and expecting different results. But that was exactly what I was doing here. I knew his town was defended, so I just kept losing cavalry. I lost at least three or four, I believe. Running in there, trying to attack him. And I got nothing, nothing to show for it. So at this point, I realized I really need to shift my strategy and focus on the trade first. And so that's what this next phase of the game is. It's me attempting to switch to making axe riders and attacking the trade post. But at this point, I think it's already kind of put me a little bit behind the ball in terms of waiting to adjust. So I keep making, I keep using whatever units I have to destroy the training post, but. And even though we're close in score, I know at this point in the game that I am in some big, big trouble. Like, I am aware that the likelihood of me winning this game is very slim now. Because his military, at least in this town, is untouchable for me. So what I really should have done was I should have adjusted the minute I realized, well, bow riders aren't going to get done. Again, like I said, I should have adjusted to making war hut units, specifically um, archers and war clubs. I don't remember their exact names, but I'll get those to you later. So, just a bad mismatch. I mean, if you look at Japan as a civilization, not having hunts can definitely hold them back. But because it's the can, and because there are berry bushes on the map, especially a huge club right next to his town center, really has little to no disadvantage of not having hunts available to him. So, I mean, I don't want to 
whine and say, well, it was a horrible, horrible disadvantage, and there was no chance whatsoever for me to win, because if I had adjusted my strategy better, I would have won. But he, ex he did exactly what I always say. I say, exploit your strength, you know. If you're going to win a battle, win it decisively. Fight with the greater number. All those sorts of basic smart tactics, he did that. He he didn't exert himself. Um, when he did, he was hit and running. Forced me. He, he, he beat me. He, that's what I guess I'm trying to say. He beat me pretty soundly. So, I mean, at this point, I've lost eight or nine. Super expensive cavalry running away from him. Ten. You know, look, look at this. Awful playing, and I keep going back there. I probably shouldn't have, but I don't know. I start to shift to axe riders, but I don't think I realized at that point, even though I should have, I didn't realize at that point that uh, axe riders actually are going to be weak as musketeers and samurai if he chooses to make it. So all around, I'm in a bad, bad way. Um, villager production, though, has remained fairly constant. And score-wise, I'm only behind about 13 points. However, that's a very indicative in my, my mind, 13 points. Because I really see myself as in incredible trouble this morning, and I really am. Um, I joined up my cavalry though, because I don't know what to do. That's the thing. I I freaked out. I said, well, what do I do now? You know? I, I, I played so awfully this game. So, I mean, at this point, I'm trying to take over the trading post and kill him, but he's just rebuilt them. And he probably has just shrines on wood, has a huge army just slowly gathering, and He's biding his time, and I'm aware of it, he's aware of it, and there's not much at this moment I feel like I can do about it. So, I keep trying to get, get herds back to me, though, and I feel like I have a pretty good cavalry mass going. And to be honest, if it wasn't, if I was not playing Japan, I feel like my cavalry mass would be enough to defeat their military. Japan's military is so freaking good. I mean, I mean, really. Their, their military is just that good, you know? That I just never, that my cavalry just didn't match up well, I guess. All that to say, my biggest mistake this game, I, I, I remember in a comment uh, I saw a few weeks ago, and the guy said, basically, uh, so what you're saying is just don't make mistakes. And, I, and I, I think I replied something like, yes, that is what I'm saying. And I made a mistake this game. When I knew that my current strategy wasn't going to work, I didn't change my strategy. I said, well, I'll just keep massing cavalry. I'm sure it'll be fine. At this point, I should have been pumping out war hunt units as fast as possible. So, I I'm to blame for my own loss. As hard and as sucky as it is, I mean, if I had made the right adjustments, you know, like in a football game, you know, you go into halftime, you make the better adjustments, you move on. If I made the right adjustments here, I would have had at least a better chance of winning the game. Although, I can't guarantee that I would have. So, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, I know that's not inspired commentary by any course of the... My anyway, but so I finally decide, by the way, all right, to go and attack them at this point. I'm thinking, all right, I'm gonna have an advantage, I can do it. And I simply just got raped. I got raped. I, I got killed. My military got owned. At this point, by the way, I, he probably should have started to attack me, although there really was no big. I mean, at this point he should have attacked me, but and just marched under my town. I mean, he just killed all my cavalry. My cavalry is, as I've said in previous videos, not cheap at all. Uh -huh. And I'm still making cavalry because I'm a genius, you know. I'm finally building war hut, but it's too little, too late. Nothing I can do. I sent more buffalo just because I figured I needed the resources, the food, and my TC. And, uh, I mean, at this point of the game, man, I have played so poorly. So poorly. There's nothing even to say about it. Yeah, I'm sorry. I mean, what do you say? I mean, I basically was like a truck, right? You know, you go to, you go to a monster. It's like a truck, right? You get in a huge, in a, you get stuck in a huge pile of mud, and you just sit there revving your engine instead of backing up or something. I don't know. Uh, I'm not from the south originally. I'm not from the north, so I don't know about mud or snow or driving in it. So, I do see him attack my trade post there. So I think, well, he's down there. I'm gonna run into his town and kill lots of stuff. This is gonna be great. So I, of course, run into his town. You know, and 
I, I run through, and there is nothing for me to kill. Nothing. Like literally, uh -huh. nothing. Like I couldn't start sieging units, but I have 12 axe riders, that's it. I wasn't gonna destroy anything of, I felt at least at the time, like I wasn't gonna destroy anything super huh. important, you know? So I was like, well, that's a waste, you know? <sighs> Did you hear that sigh? Let me do it again louder. <sighs> like, <laughs> what do you do? I mean, just awful play. So I guess the lesson I learned from this was the minute, first off, don't play Japan. It was a random matchup. Japan versus Sue, not a good choice to begin with. Japan can turtle, Sue needs to raid. Not, not good choices to oppose each other. Second thing I learned from this game is that if you know you're in a game where your current strategy isn't going to work, you should change your strategy as soon as possible. I should have been making um arrow what are they called? C tan bows, I believe. I should have been making C tan bows this entire time, and instead I kept making cavalry. If I had instead shifted my economy to solely wood and gold, I would have been so much better off. Solely, what did I say? I meant to say solely food and wood. I don't know if I said that. If I had switched to solely food and wood and focused on pumping out C tan bows, I would have. Probably not one, because he's a good player and he's gotten he got a little bit of an advantage. But I at least would have made it so much more competitive, and would have been able to at least genuinely fight him over the trade post. And maybe if I won the trade post, I have enough resources to beat him. Who knows? All I know is that what I did did not work out, and I choose to resign. I realized, look, nothing I'm going to do is going to win. I don't want to waste his time. I don't want to waste my time. I don't believe in running away like a little girl. But at the same time, I knew that. There was nothing I could do. And he asked me about Morningstar. Morningstar is a card that turns all my bow riders into rifle riders. And rifle riders actually have a bonus against heavy infantry and would have been a smarter choice. And I didn't have it in this deck. And I'm definitely going to add it to my deck in the future. However, I would like to point out, he did have a massive amount of Yumi archers. And Yumi archers still would have killed the bow riders or the rifle riders. So it wasn't like that was the one move that would have changed up my game and made it for me to win what would have allowed me to potentially win would have been instead making war hut units see tan bows massing them and then using a smaller amount of cavalry to keep killing all his trading posts and rebuilding my own and kind of engage in that kind of a war and take map control so i made mistakes i go through the stat the stats i mean i just got killed I got killed. I only killed 9 units with 59 cavalry. What a bummer. <laughs> so, either way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to double upload today because after losing this game, I was so pissed off at myself. I went and I played another game. And not the exact same situation happened. It wasn't against another Japanese player. But it was kind of like a where I need to shift my strategy a bit. And I did. So I felt like I learned something from this game and I improved in the future and what I underlined here is I wanted to look at their stats they ha he has a 38 range attack and two hand attack and this guy has a 30 something range attack too with a uh, bonus so a 60 attack against range cavalry so I should have known there hey my strategy was awful and I didn't change anyway <laughs> I said Thanks for watching. Not a good video. Sue, Japan, rough day. But I, 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 lo I love the fact that you guys are watching, subscribing. And I wanted to be on the level with you guys. I said, you know what? If you're going to watch and subscribe, and I said I'm going to upload everything, I'm going to upload everything. And that's what I did. So thanks for watching. Sorry it didn't turn out well. We're going to do better next time. Happy hunting, guys. Go get them.